Hello everyone. Welcome to Embrace. I miss M and this is the place where we get rid of the crazy and embrace the self-love we have inside. Today's topic is going to be about relationships. You know, girls, sometimes we go through life and find someone that is uh, able to truly love us can be a little bit hard at times. And we have in our minds that we are going to find someone that will make you happy. No, no, no. Oh, I just crack up when I hear that. We are not searching for someone to make us happy and live happily ever after. We are going to have to find a way to retrieve, get that happiness that's already inside of us. Uncover the exquisite, beautiful human being that you are and that you will be. And once we've done that, then we're able to flourish in a loving and wholesome, caring relationship. As we look in the mirror sometimes, we understand that not all is well. We may have a few scars, a few bumps, a few wounds from life in the past. Sometimes things have happened, incidents, experiences that weren't too good. So, the same way that we sometimes carry that load or that blockage, we may carry that into that relationship, hoping that that other person will clean it up for us and make us happy. No, not so. When you receive someone, on the outside, he may be nice. And on the inside, sometimes it may be just like a lemon. We see on the outside, we have a nice, round, beautiful color, nice skin, maybe not too many blemishes. But when we cut that sucker open, peel it open or cut it, and that juice starts to come out, and it's just so sour. Mm. We may find out that that guy is a liar. He may be someone who is self-centered, with a big ego, cares nothing about you, just himself. He may have alcohol problems, drinking every night, can't hold his liquor. He may even dip and dab into prescription drugs, popping pills, smoking marijuana. I know it's legal. Sometimes it's a mind-altering drug. And I know sometimes it is important for many of us ladies to find someone who is in the right frame of mind at all times and not dependent on a drug to loosen up. That person, that guy may have suffered abuse from his parents, maybe at home, some emotional abuse, physical abuse. The child may have been uh, neglected when he was smaller. Maybe he didn't have the type of love, hugs, and kisses and saying, I love you, as much as some of us have had 
when we were small. Sometimes you may find someone and you really like him, but then you end up not having the same interests. And you think, well, maybe later on, he'll be able to want to travel just like I do because I love traveling. And then you look at over there on the couch and he's just sitting there with a beer, looking at TV, watching football. You may find someone who has no quality time for you. Women, we want to feel wanted. And so we need that extra, extra care, attention, and that feeling of being wanted by a man. Maybe the man doesn't really clean up around the house. He leaves his towels, undies, clothes, sheets, junk lying around and expects for you to pick up. And if you have children, you're picking up behind everybody. An adult who is treating you as his mama rather than his girlfriend, wife. So, we're gonna really have to look at that lemon and make sure that if it's sour on the inside, even if it looks good on the outside, we might need to toss it. And in the meantime, look at ourselves and make sure that if we have things in the past that are holding us back and keeping us from being happy, then we're not going to flourish in that relationship. We're going to go and put that band-aid and rip it off to make sure that we're shining and that we are going to have happiness on the inside and not expecting it from a boy or a man because that will not happen. You are the ruler of your life. Thanks so much for watching today. And remember, if you find in your heart that you need to go and find someone to make you happy, then that person is not going to give you happiness. Toss that idea out the window. Leave some comments, suggestions below, and I'll see you next time. I'm Miss M. Take care now.